welcome back and today I'm gonna show you something really cool especially if you work with Axure and Sketch and as you know in Sketch uh, you work with vectors and scalable graphics in Axure however beforehand you would have to work with really flat images and you would end up with something like a workflow like this you would have your sketch design and you want to make it fancy and high fidelity you know with all variables and all the jazz, the highest fidelity of prototype possible, you would just select, let's say, an object, you would either export it as a raster image and then import it to Axure and end up with something like this, which is subpar, it's downgraded, downsampled. And why would you do that? Why would you flatten that Joe Peters? And maybe I want to edit it and I want to make it to Sarah, whatever, you know? Uh, so. Today is the day where, let's say, people who prototype with Axure RP are finally saved because we got a plugin. We got a plugin from Axure guys, and those guys know what they're doing, so let me show you how it works, and you should definitely check it out if you're actually working both Sketch and Axure for different kind of reasons. So this is the design I found on um, Sketch uh, App Sources by I think Pierre Luigi Giglio. I might be butchering your name. Good design. So I just wanted to use it to demo it. But in Sketch, let's say this is your artboard with all the different layers, different components. You know all that jazz. Some of them are hidden. Some of them are not. So I would just go here. Um, I have installed the Axure RP plugin, which you can find by just googling it. It's in a beta version. So if you google it on one of the forum links, I'm gonna actually link it in, in the description down below. You can just download and install it. With a caveat that both Sketch and Axure should be up to date and with the latest versions. So let's say if I select the artboard, I go to the plugins to Axure RP and say copy selection, just this artboard. I could just do it for any object here and go to Axure RP. As you can see, it's open, it's fresh, clean slate. There is no objects here. I would just command D and boom. I got my files in. As you can see, there's some duplicates because the top bit we don't need that. But other than that, we got ourselves an editable, let's say search, this change that to filter or let's say articles they change that to news and you can edit everything here even the icons let's say if it's done in scalable format like that I would just select it uh, if I can and if I would go to properties I could be able to edit it if, let's say fill or let's say this color maybe I want it to be that sort of the green so as you can see, I can edit anything here and I can start animating or I can just undo the objects or changing the objects here. So let's say if I would just duplicate my pages and call this a second page. And let's say change just slightly a little bit something here. Maybe it's just an empty page, which is for the time being, let's make it a 404 page, the easiest option. And let's center it in. Good enough. And let's say in the home, that specific object, which is an image, I could just replace it, but let's make it clickable. And if you're new to actually, that might be something new, but I will just open a second one. And boom! I got myself a scalable prototype. So now if I would click on one of the objects, it opens a second file. Simple as that. So this is how awesome this finding is. It's one of the small things where you've been doing something for so long and it was so annoying to flatten all the images and all the assets that out of the blue the best bit about my last week let's say because the plugin just made everything click and that's a win. So if you think it's useful give a like, subscribe, share with your friend designers who might benefit from this because it's one of the small findings which is going to save them a lot of time. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.